so you can follow your your intuition as much as possible. Yeah, you know, it's so, it's it, so. it's a very pure way of thinking. I don't, I've suddenly had a revelation. You know, look, I, I, I'm always thinking, oh, because I haven't got this kind of technique. <laughs> well, but about the, the sort of easier ways of moving between strings, you know. Whereas if you prepare for everything, then yeah, that's but you know, better. Like you have a slightly different approach on your technique. You yes, know, and 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 uh, you know, I always envy that. You know, oh. the way. The, the other way, I mean, there's a lot of different approaches to playing the guitar. Sure. You know? And uh, I see my approach is very simple, you know. I, I just play a line. I mean, uh, it's a, but, but you can all... What's, what's your approach? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I need to be <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, just uh, one, uh, one question related yeah. to that. So, mm. for instance, one of the things that's going to come up is a trip. Yeah, 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 so, exactly. So yeah. You're, you're completely so, prepared for that too. Yeah, yeah, you know, it will... But I also... But I think kind of the pick will always follow what you do in the left hand. Also, if I think of using it... Musical expression you will have, you know, sure, like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the dynamics of the phrase, and so. So let's just try to, okay, if I put it, want to play loud, I I do that, and if I. So, 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 so uh, well, you know, it's a kind of a, I do a lot of teaching also, you know, at uh, different uh, places and, uh, and uh, I think my approach is kind of basic, kind of, kind of like, uh, maybe like a classical teacher, okay. kind of technically, yeah, I mean, but sure. of course there's a lot of harmony and all that stuff, which is another of course. thing, but, <laughs> you know, so, but technically I'm kind of an old old school i guess yeah <laughs> you know so um yeah I've, I've, I've been thinking about this i mean this is my hometown more or less yeah yeah about, right about, and i was thinking about how uh, it's 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 kind of impossible to get a gig in your hometown yeah 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 you exactly know, yeah. you have to travel around and yes. you've done a lot of traveling i have done some traveling you know uh, yeah. occasionally and uh and uh yeah up through the years i've been around some places you know yeah. So, uh, so you I've grew been, up just outside of Oslo. Yes. So uh, uh, it's uh, in the, out in the countryside. You know, I grew up on a farm. Right. And, uh, I still live there, just close to nearby now. Okay. And uh, so that's really a, like a composer cottage that's thing sure. going out in the woods. So know. why? And so how how did jazz guitar infect your life? In, well, on a farm. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, no, I started with. Uh, I started playing the guitar around 14, okay. 15 years old, and uh, and because uh, my brother was uh, playing the guitar, he still is. He's a professional guitar player, also okay. classical guitar player, very very good. And um, so he he said that, oh yeah, if you're gonna play electric guitar, then you should play, learn how to play jazz. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> and you should you should uh, check out bebop. Bebop, that's the thing. You, okay. If you if you can play bebop, you can play anything. So, right. And I wanted that. <laughs> so, so, so uh, yeah, I, I checked out, well, Bebop, what is that? You know, so I went down to the local library and uh, into the music department there. And in deep in the corner was a, was a small case marked Jazz, you know, in the corner, not, <laughs> not to hurt anybody. And, we'll put, put, by the way. and uh, I, I, I looked through there and I saw, oh, one Charlie Parker. Okay. Right. So I brought that home and I put it on and just an explosion of that for some live recording. I don't know exactly which one, but two. And you love that straight away. Yeah, I love at first sight and okay. at first hearing, you know, so so that's, that I, I like that live thing, you know, the, the feeling of, yeah. and they play and take chances and they do kind of mistakes, you know, sure. I mean, glitches and everything. So it was jazz immediately. Yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, but I was also also into uh, heavy metal, you know. Of course, yeah, you know, in the eighties, <laughs> you know, we were in that, and and especially Van Halen was the yeah, band, yeah, you know. Yeah. 
And I also remember that the one thing with the first Van Halen record, uh, the, he does a small mistake there on one of the tunes. Just you, you can hardly hear it, you know. Okay. But I love that. I listened to that over and over again. <laughs> the mistake. He oh, does mistake because they played live, you know. Yeah. yeah, I heard, read about them. They recorded uh, the band section live, and the thing that he made that small mistake made it so human, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. So, so that's kind of what I like about jazz too, you know. It's sure, persons, people playing, you know, yeah. and meeting people like you and and all, and all the all jazz musicians, as you know, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that uh, I think Fraser I mean, he's walks and all. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> mistake. Yeah, I hope probably. Yeah, you know, I'd, rather, I'd, I'd rather hear soul with, with a few mistakes rather than yeah, perfect. Yeah, absolutely, you know. Which is lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know. But you will always do mistakes when you improvise, you know, okay. because you play new things. Hopefully, you will reach a point where you play something new. And then you will, like Joe Pass said, he, said he, does, he didn't ever make anything without a glitch or a, or some yeah. some mistakes, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's uh, I, I love that, yeah, you know. Keep in touch. Yeah. Wait, uh, should we make some mistakes again? We could do that. Yeah. That's easy. I mean, <laughs> maybe we should do some West Montgomery or yeah, okay. Road song. Or okay. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, Since it's uh, 100th anniversary and... Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, West yeah. Montgomery's 100th uh, anniversary of his birth yeah. on Monday. On the, yeah. It's Monday just gone. Yeah, exactly. So uh, maybe Perfect. that's... Uh, yeah, okay. try that. All right. You've got the tune. What? Uh, you take the A's and yeah, I'll take the B's. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, too much planning. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Great, great, great. Amazing to play with you. Oh. Uh, yeah, incredible. <laughs> great fun. Great fun. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Wes, yes, for uh, yeah, uh, providing the tunes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And of course, the octave thing as well. It's yeah, yeah. Almost feels like we. It's it's something you have to do. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, kind of like that. Working with the different textures. You know, like yeah. Okay, if you have melody, and you have line. Two chords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so you have those uh, to build on, and uh, yeah. that, that, they're kind of the best thing, you know, like you, like a four, four step rocket, you know, like you can use that element. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You use that element, and he does the, the riff, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a big word, complete uh, chorus, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then, then you break out of that, you like it's exposed. <laughs> it's certainly is. It's certainly is. Yeah. 